The Senate made the resolution on Wednesday during plenary after Senator Albert Bassi told his colleagues that the move was a plot to impeach Governor Udom Emmanuel. The lawmaker representing Aquabum Northeast District warned that if the matter was not urgently handled, it could lead to a breakdown of law and order in the state. This is an orchestrated attempt to cause violence and mayhem in Aquabum states as we drive towards the general election. What happened in Aquabum this morning is a breach on the principles of democracy and a serious violation of our constitution. Chairman Police, can you urgently look into this matter and investigate the circumstances to find out what happened and, and come back to us within 48 hours? In the meantime, the Senate has directed the committees on local and foreign debt, as well as that of land transport, to invite the Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, to explain the plans of the federal government regarding the development of rail network in the eastern axis linking Putakot to Meduguri. Now, what the Chinese authorities have been asked to do is to come and take over that axis and under a PPP arrangement and use their own money or monies to fix that uh, axis and then recover their money over time. And I believe that this is not fair to those of us who live on that part of Nigeria. The Senate's majority leader further provided clarification on the issue. The eastern line or axis that was given to GE has not been abandoned. The president also has given the express approval and order that every state capital in Nigeria must be linked with a railway line. Discrimination Against Persons with Disability Prohibition Bill 2018 also passed third reading on Wednesday with Senator Saraki expressing the hope that the bill will be assented to by President Mohamed Bari. From the National Assembly, Georgina Ndukwe Zainka, STV News.